how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. If you have never been here before, my name is Patricia Ennis, aka Tisha. That's what everyone else calls me for short. And today, as you have read from the title of this video, why have I been away from YouTube for five years? And it's going to be lengthy. I'm probably going to make part one, part two, part three, part four. I am in a flow. I've been in prayer and meditation today, and I just feel that there is a lot on my heart and a lot for me to say. And I'm going to just flow as the Holy Spirit gives me the words to say. So just to answer that question, one, procrastination, not being consistent, not wanting and not having the drive to put in the work that it takes to be on YouTube. And it takes a lot of work to edit, to think of content, to speak up on topics or interview someone. It takes a lot of work. It looks easy, but it's not easy at all. And especially if you want your content to mean something and represent a brand or represent you in general. Um, now, if you wanna just put up funny videos and little like, videos on your iPhone, then I guess, yeah, you don't really have to um, put much thought into it. Another reason why I was discouraged, flat out, like, I was just beat up by personal things that was going on. Five years ago, my sister had an untimely death. I was deeply depressed. I was unemployed. I was living with a parent and fully grown i started a business that i just had so much faith would take off and do very well and i didn't prepare myself for the challenges that i would face we live in a generation where we're just looking for instant gratification and i've been through the wilderness i know that your faith will be tested but <laughs> Honestly, all the things that were going on, I didn't know that I was gonna be tested like that. I was in a real wilderness experience and I just pretty much threw in the towel. There were many times where I wanted to amend the business, meaning I wanted to close the business, but every single time I would get like a text or an email from someone or maybe a call saying, hey, are you still doing the t-shirts? Are you still, um, working on your brand. I love what you're doing. You shouldn't stop. Why did you stop? I guess I was scared to tell them that I was scared to pursue, to continue to pursue. I was scared to meet the challenges that I've been facing. And some of the challenges that I was facing were with um, the printers and the manufacturers that I was dealing with. So I would buy blank t-shirts, crop tops, sweatshirts, tank tops, from a big wholesale brand. And there were times where some of the samples came in defective, but that was very rare. It was mostly with the printers that I dealt with. Uh, none of them that I dealt with were consistent in their work. And I'm very meticulous. I am a perfectionist, especially when it comes on to my customers. I want someone that took the time to invest in my brand to receive something that is representative of me. And it's printed right every you know the label is in the right place and you know they're happy with their purchase and i just met all these challenges with these guys changing prices on me um prints coming out messy or not in the right place or delays in orders and i just didn't have the fight in me at the time the company that we keep it's so imperative and it's so important to have people that who are like-minded or think on a higher level around you because if you continue to surround yourself with people that feel like oh is that possible or surround yourself with people that just look at you strange when you think out of the box then you will stay at that level i guarantee you that saying with birds of a feather flocks together it's so true and honestly, it's not that I really kept company that were negative, but you know, you do have people that are around you that act like they're for you, but they're not really for you. And behind your back, they're clowning you. But you know what, if you're a praying person or if you know how to feel, like if you have that gift of discernment and you feel people's energy, you know who is shady. And honestly, I've cut 
quite a bit of friendships out of my life and I make no apologies. I do keep acquaintances with some, but at an arm's length. And you know, it's just something that you have to do to protect yourself. I wanna speak about